Hi, I'm Darren Tolliner, Service Manager at Coeur Tractor, part of the Adams Tractor of Spokane and Lewiston locations, as well as Boundary Tractor of Bonners Ferry. Just so wanted to mention that uh, anytime we're going to try using, utilizing any systems on our tractor, it's important to always consult your safety manual and review it thoroughly before you actually attempt to do anything on your tractor by yourself. And remember that you as the operator are always responsible for your own safety. So here we have a situation where we're trying to put our implement um, on the front of our tractor that's equipped with Pioneer fittings, and we're having difficulty getting the implement connected to the tractor. We've already relieved the pressure on the tractor end, so we know we're good there. However, we still have a little bit of excess pressure built up in our implement and are having difficult connect, difficulty connecting it. So again, we showed you here that uh, here's the check valve for the fitting itself and or the nipple, depending on how you refer to it. But what we wanna do in this situation, um, and there's a little bit of force required and we wanna always use a reg. And keep in mind, safety's a, a big concern in this situation, because like I say, that we have pressure built up in here. So if you don't feel comfortable doing this, then don't do it. You can always give us a call and we can help you the best way we can over the phone or send a, somebody out there to help you. So we wanna wear safety glasses, is very important, because this will spray out hydraulic fluid when we do this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap that rag around that fitting, and then we're going to find something sturdy enough to press this fitting into. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna physically uh, 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 push this fitting into this metal here. So you can see how it actually relieved all that pressure and has a little bit more than I thought it was going to be. So, but anyways, you can kind of get the idea here how much excess pressure can be built up. So now I should be able to pretty easily hook this right back up. Just like that. So in the situation that uh, your front attachment is equipped with Pioneer fittings and you actually have two female fittings on the implement end, um, you know, so obviously that process I just showed you is not going to work because our nipple or our check valve is, is recessed down inside the female fitting. So there's no physical way to jam it into anything and actually get it to relieve that pressure. So what we do is I prefer a wooden dowel or a brass, or a brass punch. Obviously a wooden dowel is gonna be easier to come by. And what we're gonna do is just set that wooden dowel or brass punch on that nipple inside that fitting. And then take a hammer and you don't have to hit it with an extreme amount of force, but again, make sure you're wearing safety glasses and proper protective equipment. And again, if you don't feel comfortable with this, just give us a call and we'll help you in any way we can. But anyway, set that brass drift or, or, your, or your wooden dowel on that. And while holding it as far away from yourself as you can, you'll just strike that a couple times until you relieve the pressure. And that's the process for if you have two female fittings on your implement end. Obviously, if you have a male and a female, which is what we prefer, and you can actually see here, I did actually relieve some pressure out of that end. So, but we, obviously we prefer a male and a female just for that particular purpose. It's easier to unseat the check valve on the male fitting than it is the female.